so the legendary arm wrestler and the most important person in arm wrestling in 2022 mr engin terzi has announced some changes for the east versus west five card on november 19th and some new super matches for the east versus west six card which is going to be held in january 2022 So the first match Adam the Warzone Warzinski from USA versus Bojidar Semenov at 90 kilos. I genuinely believe that this is going to be an amazing amazing match. When I saw Warzinski in that pay-per-view event on YouTube on Schoolboy's channel, I have never seen such beautiful cupping and hand control. That guy is a beast and I would not be surprised at all if he ends up beating Bojidar Semyonov then Justin Bishop versus Mindogus Teresitis on the right arm that is going to be a 82 kg weight cap match and the original weight category is 80 kilos but Engin has allowed or maybe the athletes have agreed to a 2 kg increase from that weight cap of course Mindogus Teresitis is the lighter arm wrestler in this match so i think i'm quite sure that Mindogus was the one who allowed only 2 kilos weight increase and not up to 5 kilos which Engin Terzi usually allows the opponents not the opponents the competitors then we have Daniel Prokopchuk versus David Samushia from Georgia Moldova versus Georgia and this one is interesting because let's first read this post Paul Talbot injured his thumb and his match at East versus West is postponed i wish him speedy recovery so yes definitely i'm not saying this is not the truth but maybe some part of that could have also been the fact that paul talbot recently lost to the top role king artem ternenko so maybe he is not in such a great shape to be facing daniel prokopchuk on the left arm so the replacement match is against david samushia and that is going to be an amazing match if it was a right handed match i would have for sure favored david samushia in this match i think this is a left handed match so it it can be close then for east versus west 6 january 21st zaur versus sharon ramez both of them are former legends of the sport we have not seen them compete in our generation but all of the athletes neil pickup engin terzi everyone talks so highly about sharon ramez that he was one of the greatest arm wrestlers at his weight in his time versus zaur the georgian giant we have seen him in multiple viral videos legendary classic videos fighting against john brzink john was literally playing with his hand but zaur is a formidable opponent he is now 60 years old engin's plan was initially to put him up against richard lupkis who is also 66 years old and recently recovered from a big illness but richard lupkis said that he cannot compete right now so engin fixed this match against sharon remes he thinks that zaur will not say no to this match because he has already agreed to compete and sharon remes is also willing to compete so according to sharon he beat zaur in a challenge match after 1991 worlds and then zaur beat him so both of them are one and one against each other so after more than two decades a revenge chance wow such amazing time in arm wrestling engin is also inviting a lot of legends in this east versus west card so far i got cobra roads heather zoloev kazbek Niazikert, Zaur, Sharon Remes and I'm trying to reach Johnny Walker as well who is 80 years old. He's not only following the trend. Engin Terzi is someone who has this perfect mix of following the trend and also giving credit where credit is due to these legendary arm wrestlers. So thank you very much Engin Terzi for organizing such amazing events. Thank you for watching this video Old School Labs for your favorite supplements. Link is in the description. Thank you. Bye bye.